I'm not sure how much I've actually filmed so far, but otherwise the two amps are going in there, the two Sony Mutiki amps, um, TV on top, and um, so these are the side panels that will cover up um, the joins from the vinyl. Then we got our side panels, which are, this is literally this double side tape at the moment, but um, they'll sit like that, cover up any joins. Um, but obviously they'll be fastened to it. Alright, so now I've traced out the TV, which is, you can see the feet. Now I'm going to cut these giant bits out, um, and these will be grill mesh. I've got a bunch left over from the Outlander build. Um, also, but mainly what well, the reason I'm doing is for cooling, because the amps have, you know, obviously grills in the top of the amps for cooling, so that's what they're going to be for. Um, which will also give it some kind of cool look to it. The top won't just be flat boring, it'll have these two grills in it. So, um, yeah, that's about it. So, what I'm going to do now is, you know, give these like a really quick sand. I'm going to wrap these um, with the underlay foam because I'm using 3mm. I'll show you what it looks like. This is it here 3mm underlay foam, just very thin padding just to see what it's like, and grey vinyl. So, I've put a 45 degree chamfer on these end pieces. Okay, nothing special. Cut my piece of foam, so the foam is only in this middle bit. I'm not doing it on the edges. People have said keep it away from the edges. When you stretch the vinyl, it'll rip the foam. So I've never worked with this before, this foam stuff. So I'm just going to do it in the middle. And uh, vinyl, so I'm going to stick the foam to the vinyl first, and then I'll bring it over and line it up when I go to glue it onto here. Okay, so the foam will stick on first. I'll kind of push it down like that, and then I'll do my edges. Okay, so there's the two sides finished. So they are padded, as you can see, the foam. Although I, did, I didn't pad the edges, it goes to the edge. So you've still got the shape of the chamfer. Now we're doing the front. Now I can't pad this because I need to actually push the vinyl into the slits. Like kind of push it in before I wrap it because um, it's really hard to stretch it around these edges. So if I was trying to use foam, I guarantee it would stuff the foam up and rip it. Um, so it's, it would just be impossible to do it and have it look good. Alright, so as you can see, I sink these in first, so I've got a bit more stretch on them. Now I wrap it properly. There's that bit wrapped. Turned out quite nice, actually. Um, yeah, all wrapped around, nice and tight. The sides cut out for the grills. So now I'm going to uh, do a 45 degree chamfer on those, around the top. And now I'm going to do a ravening underneath so that I've got a spot to wrap it and put the grills um, but yeah so you can see where the TV sits shouldn't have taken much strength out of it really because the TV is sitting mainly in that middle portion so all the weight is load bearing on the middle mainly alright so there's the top now I've cut out my foam um, I use scissors for most of it that was the, it was the hard bit to wrap for sure I mean the front was easy that's flat wood um, the sides were pretty easy but that, that top bit was pretty hard to wrap just because of the foam but yeah it came out alright um, so what I'm going to do now He's attached these sides, two amps in there, there's the top of it, I've also got the center speaker, the main receiver, subs either side, and there's the TV, 55 inch Sony 3D, ah, I ended up with everything Sony. But we're going to pressure fit it here, it, it is very tight, I must say, but fit it does. Seamless, very happy. So I made it um, too small, the axle of that inner piece. So now, when you sit here, I've just got two knobs there. Um, they are slightly off center, as you can tell, and that's because there's a button on each right side of the amp, just in there, so each side is slightly longer. So there we go. There's the base, as you can see. I have to let, had to leave strength, but also, you can see the the base out the base of the TV actually slopes off, which I've co tried to follow into the grill. Um, yeah, still obviously strong enough to hold the TV on there. Got a grill on each side for the cooling for the amps. That's how she looks. Pretty neat cabling, considering there's a lot of stuff there. That's just the power cables. But um, all right, unplug it all up and I'll show you how she looks with the lights off. Copyright copyright free music. But um, some of you may remember this, this used to be my old intro, so we'll just play this to give you an idea, but...
we're done. And um, I'm happy with that. So, I mean, it's just basic, really. I mean, literally, it's like five bits of wood um, and some grills that I had left over. But it gives a rough idea. I just wanted something basic to lift my TV. So I had a spot to put my amps. Decided to go a little further than basic by doing the foam and padding it and the grills and everything. So, completely pointless having it padded. But it's cool, because you can touch it and go, ah. Anyway, there you go, guys. Stay tuned for some real box builds, though, coming up. One of them for that Cadence 8-inch that I bought. Um, you may have remembered ages ago. Uh, there's a cool box build coming up for that, for myself. And um, also another build for a 15. But I'm not going to tell you what that is right now.